The crushes will be Dave Watts, and it's also probably a risk with Don Saunders as the 5'8", but uh, also Craig Wilson will probably provide a fair bit of variation. But there's a player out here hurt. Yeah. Looks like that... Uh, He's uh, called timeout, Matt Hewitt, straight away. Well, it, looks as, though, moved. it looks as though uh, Clinton O'Brien, from that hit-up, I would say that Steve uh, Paul Langmack might have copped a hip. Here it comes. Oh, head clash. The top of the head of O'Brien. Smack into the jaw of Langmack. And uh, he's come off second best. Best has the West's captain, of course. A wealth of uh, experience, Paul Langmack, 31 years of age. They got home 28 points to six. It's a fair effort by Steel Richards. He just uh, came up with a good release and uh, he was there to hit it up again. And here's Wilson here. He'll probably use the grubber kick. Over the top. Let's see what they can get out of this. Oh, an ugly bounce. And that's a try. That's an early one to Egar. Wait for the referee's decision. Yes, he awards it. That was a perfectly placed kick and a horror bounce for Andrew Leeds. Well, it was a perfectly placed bounce, wasn't it? <laughs> Because, you know, Andrew Leeds probably uh, is, uh, has the best anticipation of, uh, of any fullback. And unfortunately, he hasn't got the ability to get across here and cover this. Here it comes. This is Wilson. He's onside. The outside backs. He goes across Leeds and it just bounces away from him. And too quick as he goes. Let's have a look at it again, Arthur. From here is he, yeah, well, he takes it up. They work the play to the 50 and he takes it up there. And Andrew Leeds has a fair bit of ground, but he looks as though he's got it uh, covered. But uh, this often happens with the rugby league football. So first blood to the crushers. Michael Egar scoring to give them four points to nil lead. Watson, 31-year-old former Kiwi international. He too just back from... Uh, Injury as Hudson makes a good dart from dummy half. He's into the clear. He's only got leads to beat and runs straight into it. Yeah, great uh, work by Jason Hudson as we see a chance here. Quick play the ball and it's Shipkovsky skirting to within 18 metres of the line. So a great start here by the Crushers. They've got good width here as they go to the right. Ball comes wide. It's now with Antonik. Tries to straighten the attack. Howard comes in and helps his teammate. Crush is still going wide. Wilson again, a kick behind the defence. Leads this time. Now the Magpies go wide. Crowd appealing for a penalty, wants them onside. Good offload from Billy Dunn to Lang. Yeah, the big problem at the moment is they don't seem to... Oh, what about that for a bounce? And they're going to get a try out of that. That's Kevin McGinnis. Well, we've seen two kicks, two horror bounces for the fullback. That one popped up beautifully for McGuinness, and the Magpies are over to level the score. Well, they seem to be lost for options, didn't they? And uh, Darren Burns, is, Darren Burns, who takes the ball up, and I'm just wondering, he's just on side. And of course, McGuinness following up, and uh, as we said before, a rugby league ball can do some strange things. Well, you couldn't blame poor old Jason Hudson there. Doyle put in the kick. Hoping for the bounce, and look at that one, it bounced perfectly for Kevin McGuinness, and he crosses for a four-pointer. Yeah, it looked as though that was pretty easy, but uh, unfortunately for Jason Hudson, he was off balance, he had to make a turn, he was confronted by McGuinness, and he just uh, took a little hand off uh, to get rid of Jason Hudson, but I don't blame Jason Hudson for uh, that miss. It's strange, they just seem to be lost. Of course, he's a Cunamundra boy, and I'm sure Dad will be down there watching on his optus. Here's Kennedy again, taking on the defence, and a good ball to Hasler. They keep it alive here. The ball inside to Leeds, not the fastest man in rugby league. He comes to the defence, takes the tackle, and decides to wait for the other options. Now, deep on attack, McGuinness. No, they go from dummy half, George Arles finds Ken McGuinness. Out to Kevin McGuinness. Oh, and he's almost over. The Feds almost turned him over and threw him over the line. This is the last one. What will they do here? Doyle. Doyle goes wide. And it comes out to Kennedy. Kennedy to Lang, one on one here. He takes on Hudson. The ball back inside. They're looking for their second try at a couple of metres short. That was James Smith put into touch. Yeah, very exciting passage of play here where they just, on the last tackle, West decided to run the football, but also very good defence 
from the crushers. We see the ball is. out here. Here's a <laughs> Siri Lang here, almost standing. Jason Hudson up, gets the ball back inside. Jimmy Smith there, a very good tackle by is that Nathan Solodinkin? Yep. From Mackay. What's well, just hung on long enough for Kennedy to finish off? Now, Teven. They've got numbers out here, Wes. What will they do? Hudson, nice stepping. Beats two, three. Gets a lovely ball away to Antonik. He's uh, collared 10 metres short. Now the crushers, a big chance. Teven comes out to Saunders. The wide ball to Igar. On to Shifkovsky. Stands, turns, heads back in field, straightens. And he's uh, met 10 metres short of the line. Now it comes out to Teven. Again, numbers out here for the uh, crushers. It's come off a Western Suburbs leg. I don't think he'll play six to go. No, he hasn't, the referee. And that'll go over the dead ball line, just. Yeah, once again, an exciting pass to play, but uh, Busy has it coming up to take the quick tap. The crowd yelling out, get on side, as Big Billy Dunn just powers up the field. He hasn't run that far since his junior days, Billy Dunn. It's a great run. Gets them to within 10 metres of the halfway line, and Doyle goes on with it. They've made... 30, 40 metres in, two tackles, the Magpies. Now Scandalis, he gains a couple of more. Got the uh, crushes stretched at the moment, leads the wraparound. George Arliss, Kevin McGuinness. George Arliss now, Hasler. What can the veteran do? He scored their only try against Illawarra last week in the 6-2 win. Some nice footwork there. It all comes to a stop for George Arliss. 25 metres out. Doyle again goes high. It's a pretty good bomb. Watson has to run. And in the end, Hudson jumps up and this time makes yeah, a good take. That was a tremendous bomb by Adam Doyle. And uh, I say a lot of courage shown by Jason Hudson. But he did get good protection from Dave Watson. Here it comes. He's underneath it all the time. Hudson screaming across. Almost and, like uh, a Gene Miles bomb, wasn't it? <laughs> suburbs safety first early in the tackle count Millard now back inside to Howard he offloads to Hasler he switches Millard now he's only a couple of meters short under a lot of pressure now the crushes Hasler darts from dummy half can't get the ball down three of them to hold him up George Arliss done there's a hole there straight through it that's the second try for the western suburbs man guys too easy Arthur. that was too easy and the crush is good here not shifting off their line eight four to uh, wests i think that really the problem was that uh, the crush is expected billy dunn the 27 year old used to play with the illawarra too Steelers. Easy. mark brother are guilty very poor tackle there by mark and uh, mark hoping more than anything that the ball was going to be shifted but you see where aaron mill had to go across that tackle had been made by mark brother in the end it, uh, it seemed a simple try i hate to say it but he was beaten by pace by bill dunn well, he's more, more guilty of not shifting not moving like, yeah. yes. <laughs> Western Suburbs getting all the penalties, 2-1, to 6-3 the penalties when they lost the first couple early. Well, he, he made up for Nathan <laughs> Solodjik and he just hit Jimmy Smith with a bone cruncher. There's the workaholic, 27-year-old Billy Dunn. Again, they switch the point of attack. Here's Lane Mack with options again. Decided to take them on himself. Hasler, long ball. George Arliss, another long ball. Doyle. And the defence holds. They're only five metres out now, the Magpies. McGuinness to Leeds. This is the final tackle. Comes inside. Doyle again. Looks for the high ball. Perfectly weighted again. And it beats everybody. Yep. 35 metres out, the Crushers. So it comes now. Teven. He goes high. The midfield bomb. Leeds is underneath it. They're coming through. Oh, well taken under pressure. Fullback on fullback. Yeah, it's a good uh, feeling to know that you've got someone like Andrew Leeds back there. Skirt from dummy half by Willis. Here it, it is. Yeah, Andrew just taking his eyes. And it was Dave Watson coming through. Fullback on fullback. You don't often see that, but gee. Kennedy put him to ground. 30 metres out there. South Queensland crushes. 
The oh. ball's being stripped there. Play on. Play on. Here's a chance. Solid Jenkin. Eight metres out. Now to Teven. Lined out deep again. Oh, and they go wide and it's gone to nobody. That was a shocker from Wilson. Yeah, I, I really believe they went the wrong way. Uh, because Wilson was out here, you know, it just seems to go wherever Wilson is. But the idea was probably right a bit, but they weren't up there uh, flat. They were too deep, Hudson and uh, Toshek. Trying to make up for that horror pass. Smith, he sighted a gap, starting to stride. He's got Bill Dunn in support, and Bill went the wrong way. He's tackled by Watson. He's hanging on to him. This could be a bin. Matt Hewitt showing a lot of patience. Dave Watson claiming yeah. he was held down. Yeah, that passage of play. I, I, I... 20 metres out. No, 10 metres out. Hasler. George Arles done. He's done a mountain of work, Billy Dunn. And so is the little bloke that was under him. Antonick. Now Doyle. He straightens. He finds a hole. Bickerstaff hangs on. Antonick over the top. Only metres short. It's a dreadful play, the ball. Let's play on now. Langmack looking inside. Smith, a lovely flop. It goes to Scandalis. Palms off. They're throwing passes everywhere here, the Magpies. And McGuinness, he's tackled five metres short. Hasler now darts. He'll go all the way, Desi Hasler. Can he get it down? Let's wait for it. Got the water yep. fly. Oh, that's great individual skills from Desi Hasler. He's got it down all right and got inside another four points and now the Magpies lead 14-4. Great try. You see Des Hasler popping in here. There was a lot of pressure on the Crusher's defence, but one of the markers uh, went to sleep there. It was Michael Egan. It, it just emphasises the, the experience of Des Hasler and also the strength. He's taken three blokes over. He's beat the first one, Cole Shivkovsky, and then three of them there trying to hold him up. And no luck at all. It was Saunders, Watson, and Ega. Desi Hasler. There he is. He's what a marvel, Arthur. He's uh, 30, what, 36 years of age. He really looks after himself, Des. He's uh, back into this game, but I think they do lack a bit of mobility in their forwards. Uh, and Saunders may be going up into the lock forward position. Uh, they could get that. Well, he, we'll see a penalty going against West here as Fitton O'Brien objects to the tackle by Adam Doyle. I want to be careful here, O'Brien. He'll be called out and spoken to, I would say, both players. Hewitt. Only a quick word. There it is again, Arthur. He goes up. He's met. Penalty now going. Will go the crusher. Oh, he got one there. Doyle slipped one in. <laughs> Doyle. <laughs> then knees over the top of him so he couldn't get up and play the ball. Yeah, it was really nothing. Early really in the second half, South Queensland heading towards the Magpies line. Saunders back inside the dummy from Toshak. Will he go all the way? Just ran out of support. What a good tackle in the end. They're all offside here. They think they've gone the wrong way. Fly. Still. Well, they've gone the wrong way once again, you know, and I just think that uh, because Wilson's this way, they're going out the right way, but this should have gone the first pass. They're throwing it around like a hot potato, the Sorry. crushers. Now Wilson finds Egar, steps inside, done. And is met by the cover, Langmack brought him down. Over the top was George Arliss. What can they do here? Retchless, back inside, Watson spins around. Now it goes out wide to Antonik. And Leeds ever safe. Takes him down. This is the final tackle. They go to the short side. It's going to break down. Here's a front rower putting in a grubber kick. It's a pretty good one. Oh, get there. That could have been a penalty try. I think that should have been. He was definitely held back. That was Watson. Gee, that was close. Here it comes well, over. I feel as though he was hampered here on the way through. I know that you can go shoulder for shoulder, but gee. But no. Oh, 
Just well done, got his wasn't hand it? on it in the end. Scandalous, I think it was. Bottom left for front, front row. Well, that was that would have brought tears to your eyes. A front rower putting in the grubber kick and a front rower diffusing it. Oh, I would have been. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, Arthur it beats it. But that was an enterprising bit, a bit of, play. of tacky to play from crushes, but uh, there we see Clinton uh, O'Brien <laughs> catching Dizzy Hasler with a forearm, in which Dizzy uh, probably would because he has a tendency to go, to go high. We see Steele Ritzler. Ritzler gets a great ball away this time. Well, Toshak. Good support play. It's a chance if they oh, I think they've gone the wrong way again. It's still on out wide. They go back inside. Teven is switching the point of attack. Wilson goes straight ahead. He's met over the top by Dunn. And it all breaks down again. Well, they're putting on some pressure. Can they get some points? Watson darts out. Try. Oh, yes. They finally converted possession into points. Dave Watson darted out too quick, caught the defence napping, and they get their second try. Well, this is their best play. They had a, a wide back line set. Everyone expected the ball to go wide. Dave Watson, they're all in the dummy halves. Went, the markers went to sleep. There it is. See Billy Dunn there, and we also see both second rowers. Yep, Dunn and Kennedy and Des Hasler trying to hold him up. No luck. He got that momentum going and was always going to be hard to beat. Yeah, hard well, to stop. Well, the crushers need that. They need to hit back early in the first half. They should. Just attempt. See if he can slot this one over. It takes plenty of time. Good contact. Oh, it's hit the upright. No luck. So. Right, because they had players coming up. There's Tommy with his reserve grade coach, Jason Nelson. You're looking very concerned too, Tommy. You never change, is he? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is his last full week with the Magpies. Of course, he goes on state of origin duty as of tomorrow. So he'd be looking for the two points because they're only a win outside of the seven, the Magpies. Had a dreadful start to the season. Lost five of their first six games. Lost four. This is the final tackle for them, 30 metres out. George Arles goes for the midfield bomb. Toshak takes it comfortably. Gives it to Hudson. He oh. stands up the defence. He's, He's got Kennedy to beat. He beats him. There's a prop chasing him. Scandalous. What a great tackle. No, he's very quick. That's a great effort by Scandalous. Now, he doesn't want to give away a penalty. He's going into the sin bin. Now, this is a sin bin offence. Well, he's not sending him. He's showing great patience here. He's Matt Hewitt, the referee. Here's the bust. It's a good offload. And he's got great feet, as we mentioned, in the first half. He beats Kennedy. Now, here's a front rower coming across and just grabs him. Kennedy comes over the top, and the tour will make sure he doesn't get up and play it. Well, it That's got to be a pen. Yeah, well, it had to That's be a, a The ground. You've got to be careful. Matt Hewitt has got to be running out of patience with this ruling. The Siri Lang's got a bit of room. He steps inside Bickerstaff. He comes again and puts him down. Now, Western Suburbs looking to hit back after conceding an early try. In the second half, they spread it wide. Good hands from Leeds, who picks up. Willis goes straight. Oh, and he's very close. The referee checking with the touch touch. He's going to award a try. The crushes are blowing up. West are happy. Let's have a look. Gee, it was a good finish here from Darren it's, Willis. It, it is a good finish, but gee, it's poor defence by the uh, crushers winger. Crusher winger. He didn't come off his line. Here they go, they spread it wide west. Some good hands here. Doyle. Doyle gets it out to Kennedy. A good quick pass picked up by Leeds. Now he's got one in front of him and four coming across. Does he get it down in time? That's the question. Yeah, once again, well, I think he's well it was Dave Watson. I'm a little bit disappointed, Dave Watson. We can't see from there, but it looks as though he has got the ball down. But a player of Dave Watson's experience had to come out and attack the ball carrier. On the line is good enough in this situation. Hudson safely reels him in. Final tackle, leads. He'll drive it deep. No, he's gone for the midfield bomb. It's come across here to Hudson, to uh, Shifkovsky. Well, penalty here <laughs> against uh, Ego, is it? Took a player out. Certainly did. Yeah, you're just wondering whether he deliberately took him out or whether they were both trying to contest the football. It'll be interesting to see this on replay, the high bomb by Andrew Leeds. And what they're saying is that he's deliberately taking out impeded, the chaser. Yeah, impeded the chaser. 
couple of good halfback like an Adrian Lamb or an Alfie Lang would make an enormous difference. Steve Bleakley, the coach, he'd love one of those. You don't want to give a rattle at this stage. Things not going their way. They had a conversion, hit the upright. Had a controversial try scored against them. Now penalty. Does West make ground? The ball goes back inside. McGuinness. Good work from uh, George Arliss. He's having a strong game again for the home side. Hasler. They've got some great ball players there. They'll get rid of it. Now it goes to Ken McGuinness. Back inside to Damian Kennedy. Great offload. It's play on. Six to go. It's touched a crusher. So luck not running with them again. Yeah, the ball coming off Clinton O'Brien there. So they've got a full complement here, Wests. Well done, McGuinness. Would have been forward if he'd have given it to Howard. And a waste of a golden opportunity. Smith. Now. They opt to go wide again. Doyle. Straightens. Takes on the defence. He's nine metres out. West could just about seal it from here. Howard juggles. Reels it in. Langmack goes wide. McGuinness. Puts on the pitch or gets through some flimsy defence. And that should just about be the ball game. I think Tommy will be a lot happier. They tend to give us. That was inevitable, really. It was just way to possession once again. And the Maggies are receiving another set of six after a touch. We see the ball going. Now what's, what's Harvey Howie trying to do here? And Harvey just shuffles the ball onto Langmack and course just as there are too many numbers on the outside and a pretty poor tackle there by the, the crushers players yeah let's have a look at it again he juggles here gets control Langmack goes wide it's one on one really but he goes straight between the two defenders and leaves them lying there Toshak and Wilson I think the North teammates yeah well I think well, he was still looking for the football wasn't he <laughs> he was lucky to grab it maybe that's what confused the crushers well, they've got a commanding lead now, Western Suburbs. 24 points to eight. Leeds trying to squeeze two more. Two from five. It's Ten metres in from touch. 22 metres out. This is a shot. Good contact again. Straight over the black dot. So... They're happy here at Campbelltown. Why wouldn't they be? They're so All waiting back for the next play. Antonik. Go forward. Watson. Dave. No one's running. They're passing. And they're picked off. Siri Lang takes care of his opposite. Saunders now. No one's moving before they pass. They take a step and pass. Now let's see if they can get it rolling. Chance out wide. He steps inside Shifkowski and he scores! Well, he's Tommy's not, not very he's happy, not Tommy. Happy. <laughs> he is not happy at all. That gives them some heart. 15 minutes to go. And South Queensland hit back. 26-12 it is, Arthur. That came from nothing. Well, this is always a bit of a worry that you do relax. And I believe that the West, they became, they became ball watchers. We see the ball shifted very wide. But by the same token, it's... Uh, we, we've given uh, Jason Hudson a bit of a rap, but you've got to give Shifkovsky a rap. I do that to me, I thought. Clinton Shifkovsky. Here we go. Egar. He just passes it out here. He beats Willis and then heads for the corner. And there's a push on here. Does he get the ball down before Whoa. he gets the corner flag? Oh, gee. Looking at that on replay. Hi there. Yeah, Shane Miller, the man responsible for that high tackle. But he knows only one way to play the game. And here he Wilson is. Wilson trapped. Oh, yeah, he's ruled it forward. Well, I don't know about I this one. I think it's, you know, I think the crowd, the crowd intimidated the referee, and uh, I thought that this ball could have, it was a bit of a line ball. They tend to do that a bit. Well, it's good work by Miller. Pretty Miller. Now that ball has definitely oh, gone great. back. This is all right, you know. He's been. No one saw it that way. No, they're all shaking their heads up here in the commentary box. Comes wide to Doyle. Kevin McGuinness back inside to Scandalis. Oh, gee, he's good at flopping that ball out the back. And they keep it alive. Millard. He stands in the tackle. They're not putting him to ground. Langmack. What will he do? Oh, he sets up Ken McGuinness. And he's over for an absolute easy try. Yeah, Dave Watson looking to the touch judge. He thought that ball, which was held up late by uh, Paul Langmack, was forward. And I think the touch judge... Uh, 
received a little bit of abuse from Dave Watson, but it'll be interesting to see here on replay. But this is a result of a good offload here, two good offloads, one by Scandale at first. The flop back. And then day later on, Billy Miller, doesn't he come up with a good one? The good the right foot step in there. A ball around the corner. That's, That's a beauty. And this is not a bad ball either from Lang Mac Bank. I don't know. Yeah, it might have looked as though it was forward because he uh, the tackler pushed Langmick back. Let's have another look at it. Some great offloads here from Wes. Langmac Bang. That I think it was okay. No, that was okay. Looked fair to me. He's pretty happy. McGuinness. His team's in front. Has <laughs> Here they go. Trying to finish with a try. Can they do it? It's their last tackle. We're inside the final minute. I think it's gone to someone who wasn't supposed to get it. Egar now. Rubbers. And... No, just missed it. A little bit unfortunate. The ball just went. Touch in gold. Just beat the flying feet of the Shevkovsky. Here it is. He, uh, he had Willis beaten for speed. And oh. on the line. On the line's out, Arthur. Yes. 